sun is setting on a beautiful day here. I traveled sort of, our home is in that direction over there. Um, well, I guess more like over that direction. I traveled to the far end, edge of the desert and I found this extreme hilly kind of nation. And there's a cave, I think it's gonna be good, but I don't wanna jinx it, so we're gonna sleep. Um, I am smelting a couple of pieces of surface iron that I found um, so I can make a bucket of water because I completely walked away from my house without a bucket of water. So we'll take those. Let's cook the beef. And we're going caving in today's episode. That's what's happening. That is a thing that is happening today because we need a bucket of water for caving so that we don't die. And the worst thing ever is to get down into like extreme hills where there's a lot of like crazy falls. Uh-oh and not have a bucket of water to put down to help um, get away from some of the, the crazy falls or if there's like lava down below you and you don't want to, I am lagging, why am I lagging so hard? Um, you just, you need a bucket of water and if you get enough iron for a bucket but then you can't find a source block of water, then you're in trouble and you don't want that. So it looks like our steak is finished. That person is gonna text me 12 more times just so you're aware. I will try to ignore them all, um, but it may not work. I may have to respond to her and um, come back to you guys. But we'll see what happens. So let's go down. I really hope it doesn't end. Okay. So we're going to go... Yep. Look at this. Look at this. Ugh. Every time. Every time I think I've found a cave, I'm like, hooray, I found a good cave. And nope, I have not. But I need more, you see what I mean? You see what I mean? Um, I, I will get this coal and cobble, because I need more stone, cobblestone anyway, so that I at least have a good amount of blocks in my inventory. And we can always use coal, so we'll get everything here. Wow, this is a huge vein of coal. Does anybody else ever feel lazy mining coal? Because it seems like it goes, ooh, iron! See, this is why you mine the whole vein. Um, does anybody else ever get lazy mining coal because it goes on for days? Sometimes I get really lazy when I'm mining coal and I'll just mine some of it and I'll be like, eh, I'm done. I had a um, funny, well, it wasn't funny. I had to literally stop playing, but um, I struggle a little bit with anxiety and sometimes when you're playing Minecraft, it's not a good game to play when, you have an, when you're having anxiety because um, things happen in Minecraft that can kind of hop and scare you and I was playing yesterday um, on my PlayStation and I don't know how it managed to happen I was mining coal and it was a huge vein so I was like all the way into this wall oh you guys um, I was all the way into this wall and I um, I was all of a sudden a creeper blue but I didn't hear the I didn't hear the, like, the sizzle that happens right before a creeper blows up. I just heard the explosion, and it, I had iron and stuff, so I didn't die, but I was like, it scared me because it was so loud, and I didn't hear anything leading up to it. I didn't hear the creeper approach, which you usually don't. I do not want to get lost in a jungle, so let's get out of here. Um, oh, speaking of creepers, um, I have to sneeze. Hang on. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it was, yeah, anyway, it was scary. It just, it freaked me out. I'm just gonna kind of maybe, oh gosh. I didn't realize there would be two. Um, it freaked me out and I actually had to stop playing because it freaked me out so bad. Um, it's just because it was so loud and I, I didn't see it coming. That's why you never ever mine a huge vein of anything with your back turned in a cave. And I know better, I know better than that. I should have blocked myself in or put some water down behind me or something flowing in the other direction to protect myself but I just I I was expecting to only get a few pieces of it but then I realized I really need this coal so I started mining the whole vein and um and then I, I found myself in some trouble I don't really know what to do here because I don't really want to get lost in a jungle okay it seems like if I go straight through that I'll end up on the other side I don't want to get lost in a jungle, you guys, like at all. Um, so let's cut through here. I'm hoping that I can just not get lost and um, and then 
come out on the other side and go find a better biome. It just water tricked me. I thought it was like ocean on the other side, but it clearly is just water inside the jungle. So let's just, we're gonna just stay going in a straight line. <laughs> we are not going to reroute or turn or anything because getting lost in a jungle can be not good. And I have my spawn set so that I can just warp to spawn when I'm finally ready to go home. But I, um, I want to have at least some bearing of where I am in case I wanna come back for anything. And so let's just, um, I thought I saw, I did exactly what I did not want to do, which is come into a jungle. I don't want to be in a jungle. Let's, um, uh, okay, I'm going to keep looking and I'll be right back. I think we may have found something here. It goes down pretty quickly, so that's good. Ooh, I'm running low on torches. I'm really hoping it doesn't end. That's gonna frustrate me if it does. Um, let's make our sticks. Let's make some more torches. Um, I'm, there's iron. I really wanna like go caving. I wanna get some more gold. I really would love it if we could get everything that we needed to make another reactor core because that's really what I want. And um, you need diamond to make another reactor core and 36 gold just to make one. Um, but if you wanna do repeat trips to another reactor, I heard a spider, which is weird because I normally can't hear anything. So it must be close because he's loud. Is it ending? Oh no, maybe it's not. You guys, what is happening? What is happening in the world? Why? All right, I'll be back when I find something else. Maybe the whole episode will just be us running into fake caves and not getting lucky. Everyone, and welcome to an episode of Diz Craft. Um, I don't have a ton of time, so I will warn you, this will probably be like kind of a mini episode. Um, I just, I uh, was looking for, hello, how are you? Oh, it's night. We should maybe sleep. Um, I was looking for caves, and I kept finding, like, these mini caves that, um, that weren't really caves. And so I was able to collect a ton of iron, uh, which is good because I actually will feel better going, like, supreme caving if I have armor. So we are going to, um, we're going to make some armor for ourselves, which I think will be good. Um, and then we're going to go, like, full-scale caving. How much iron do I have? Oh, no. Okay. Um, I have some stuff here, as you can see. I'll be throwing out some of it. I'm hoping I can hang on to the clay. I'm hoping I can hang on to the string. Um, I'm going to have enough. I can hear something, but I think it's just the, um, I think it's just the, the ant creatures outside. Um, I'm going to have enough iron for iron tools, I think. So I'm hoping that um, I will be able to get rid of my stone tools. In fact, Let's just dig ourselves a little garbage here and get some stuff around. So I don't want to fall in the garbage though. Let's see, what don't we need? Leather we do not need. It's so weird when you switch from playing on the computer or on the console to playing on Pocket Edition because it's like normally leather is such a precious resource because you need it to, um, to make books for a, a bookshelf for an enchantment table, but they don't have that in here yet. Hopefully we'll be getting it next week. That would be really cool. Um, at which point I think I may just start a survival series then, if if that's the case, uh, but I'm not sure yet, so you guys will have to let me know if you would like for me to do that or not. Um, I would like to do that. I think sometimes that just plain survival series without much to them can be kind of boring, so I don't, I don't want to be boring. Um, let's make, that's actually a better use of that, I think. And we'll do that. 
so let's let's see let's get our hot bar looking right I think I may have finally found an actual legitimate cave um, we'll have our bow Ugh, you have more slots on the on the computer edition too so I can't fit everything um, you know what let's we'll just keep torches because I think having blocks in my hotbar is maybe a little more important. Maybe I'll put my axe away and I'll keep my pickaxe and my bow and food. Right? Because I shouldn't need my axe too often, right? I think that should be fine. Um, sorry in advance for the sound of my air conditioner. It is hot. I can hear a spider and I actually would like to kill him. I thought I put a torch up here, but it seems really dark. Um, this is actually the way to the cave. Even though it's not loading over there, it's, it's over there. Um, so that's actually the direction we're going in. But first, we have... Wow, we actually didn't have as much iron as I thought we had. We have full iron tools, so that's good. And I have a spare pickaxe, which is also good. Um, and I guess we'll just use our cobblestone block to pick back up our crafting table. There we go. I got rid of everything I don't need, right? Oh, I don't need seeds for sure. So let's um, let's throw the seeds away. And I wanted to bring the melon back to my. Um, I didn't realize I had two melons worth of slices. So let's make another. Oh, I need nine. It's kind of annoying. Um, oh, I almost fell in. I don't, I want to keep the feathers so that I can maybe make more arrows. I only have nine at this point. And I want the watermelon to bring back to my world so that we have melon over there because we're going to make a farm eventually. But I think that's all we need, so let's get started. Like I said, this is going to be a, sh a shorter episode than um, you guys are probably used to for me just because I don't have a lot of time for filming. Um, I'm super busy this week, but not with VidCon like everyone else, which is sad, but, um, does it end here? No, it doesn't. Um, and so, I, but I am busy this week with my own stuff, so I really have to take any free time that I have for recording this week, um, just to make sure that it gets done. Uh, nobody freak out, I did see the iron, I just want to... Oh, I can't hear the hostile mobs as well as you guys can. So hopefully I don't get exploded by a creeper. Um, oh, I see the spider. Found him. I did see the stuff back there. No one panic. I just want to kill the spider so that he doesn't drop down on me. There we go. And did it end? Is that what happened here? Oh. Um, so let's go and grab the coal, which I actually really need. Wow, this is a huge vein of coal. Some things that I've noticed in the new, um, since the new update are, well, first of all, there's that weird bed issue that I don't like. Um, and I'm wondering if anyone else has that issue, you know, when I try and sleep and it hops me right back out of my bed. Um, I can hear a zombie. I can hear a little bit, which concerns me. It makes me think that it's maybe actually too loud for you guys. There he is. Um, he's trying to get to me. I don't know that he can though. Is that, a, is that a witch? Are there witches in this mod? Or am I, what am I seeing over there? Is it a light? Is it light? What is going on? Or Where is the light on that Sorry, I'm so confused. No, please go away. Wow, there's a lot of hostile mobs right here. Uh oh. <laughs> I've um, that's not what happens in Pocket Edition, is it? When a when a skeleton or in um, not Pocket Edition in console or computer when a skeleton hits a uh oh, oh no. And I don't think I have an extra one. Let's 
pickaxe you to death. Die, zombie. There we go. I don't think that um, I have a spare sword. Spare pickaxe, but not a spare sword. In pocket edition, when... No, in the computer edition, when a skeleton hits a creeper, it doesn't make him stop having anger on me, does it? That's what just happened with that creeper and that skeleton, and then the creeper went to the skeleton. But I don't think that that's what happens in Pocket Edition or in the console, because if you can get a skeleton to kill a creeper, you can get a music disc, and it's really hard to do that, um, because the skeleton has to hit the creeper more than once for it to die. So I don't think that was weird. I don't think that that's what happens in other versions of the game. Um, but in some ways, Pocket Edition is more progressive. There's a ton of stuff, obviously, that the Pocket Edition can't do yet. I mean, we did just get fishing, and we're only just about to get enchanting, but, um, and hunger. But, like, a lot of these blocks, like the diorite and the andesite and stuff like that and the granite, was all introduced into Pocket Edition before it was introduced into the, um, computer, and it still hasn't been introduced to the console. So even though someone's shooting at me. Hello. Um, could you stop that? Um, so even though sometimes there's stuff like that that is like, um, more iron. I want the iron. Uh, sometimes it makes me wonder if stuff like that with the creeper and the skeleton is actually a newer feature that we're eventually going to see as opposed to like an old feature that will eventually be weeded out. Like, I don't really know. And I didn't have a ton of experience with the old, with older versions of the computer game. I don't get a ton of experience with the computer game in general just because my computer is shit. Um, so I never, I never really know how to compare the two. Um, I play a lot on my console, but um, I know a little bit more what to expect from that one. I was like so confused when I saw that tree because it looked flat and it looked like a bug. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Can he get to me somehow? Why is he... Why did he walk away from me? Um, that was weird. Oops, I didn't mean to get rid of the little cute tree. Ah! <laughs> that was not nice. I stuck. There we go. Perfect. Um... Let's get this little bit of iron. I have to keep an eye on the time. I'm actually going to have to get ready to end the episode pretty soon. I know that that seems so crazy because it feels like we've only been playing for like five minutes. But um, it's okay. It'll be... I might... Um, I might like edit a couple of episodes together. Oh. Where did you go? I saw everything that was down there. What the heck? Did I walk by him? Where did he come from? Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from, Prime Hydro? Sorry, I could not resist. I hear another one. And I don't want him to pull, like, the tricksy he just pops that up on me. Um, this cave is kind of intense. Oh, hello. I need more torches. Do have sticks? I have one stick. Um, let's... Right, we'll just go this way a little bit and then, yeah, I figured... Oh no, it's lava! Oh! Oh, we found something new now. Alright, there's a... Oh, there's a zombie. Let's, um, let's stop up the lava. Because we don't want to die. And potentially we'll end up going down there. So let's kill this zombie. And then I think, do you want to help me end the episode, Mr. Zombie? Why don't you come on over? Uh, me and this zombie, we uh, love you both so much. He's telling me in his own zombie language that he wants you to subscribe to my video and to share it with your friends and family uh, because he wants to, you know, he wants to make it big as a star and he's tired of selling his body. Um, and he's telling you to also give this video a thumbs up because he's super cool and look at his great fashion. He has an awesome blue shirt that absolutely no one else is wearing, especially not his friend right there. Um, 
So we three hope that you are having a beautiful day and we will talk to you next time. Bye. Say bye, guys. Oh, that's not how you say bye. That is not how you say bye. That is not nice.